This first video is all about EQ's three work tables and how to go from one to another. When you open most software, there's only one place to be, but with EQ7 there are three places. EQ7 has three different work tables. That's because EQ7 has tools for designing quilts, drawing blocks, and working with photos. So EQ7 has three separate workspaces, quilt, block, and image. Okay, how do we know where we are now? Look at this part of the top menu bar. It says quilt. And notice how this icon looks like it's pressed down. When I point to it, it says work on quilt. This shows I'm on the quilt work table. This red picture symbol represents a quilt. The quilt work table will always show an empty quilt layout and quilt design tools. This yellow button represents work on block. And before I click it, I want you to watch right up here. Keep your eyes right on it. Don't watch my mouse cursor move because I want you to see the word quilt change to block as I click the yellow work on block button. See? Now we're on the block work table. You may never need to go here unless you want to draw blocks. The block work table will always have one large empty block on it for you to draw in. Again, watch this word block and keep watching here as I click the work on quilt button to go back to the quilt work table. See how it now says quilt again up here? You can click back and forth between work tables by using these buttons. Or you can use this work table menu work on block, work on quilt, work on image. The third work table is the image work table. This blue button represents a camera to symbolize work on image. Again, watch this word as I click the work on image button and you'll see the word quilt change to image. Now we're on the image work table. You'll go here when you want to work on photos, fabric scans, or other images. So if you ever get lost, look right up here and become comfortable going from one work table to another and just seeing where you are and knowing which of the three work tables you're on. One more important tip to know is when you exit from EQ7, the work table you were using last will be the work table you see when you open EQ7 the next time. So if you're on the quilt work table, when you close EQ7, you'll be back on the quilt work table the next time you open EQ7. That's one reason this video is important, because when you close the program for a week or longer, the next time you open it, you may be confused about where you are. So remember to look right up here on the top menu.